What are authorized shares in a corporation? Well, generally a corporation is formed by filing the articles of incorporation with a state entity charged with that function, generally the Secretary of State's office. And then the Secretary of State's office certifies the existence and issues a charter or a certificate of incorporation. Now, in those articles of incorporation, the business must state its ownership, interest, or unit in terms of a number of units or shares that it authorizes. This is the number of stock or number of shares of stock that are authorized in the articles of incorporation. And this is makes up the capitalization of the company when the company issues that stock in exchange for money coming into the business. Now, the word issued means that the authorized shares have been distributed to shareholders, that is, individuals who are purchasing an ownership interest. All of the shares that are authorized do not have to be distributed. Particularly in startup ventures, the company oftentimes reserves a pool of shares that is not issued that are, that are attached to options. That is, the ability of others, the option holder, to purchase those shares at some point in time in the future at a given price. So when you hear stock options, there's always authorized shares that are dedicated to fulfill those options when they're exercised. So you have authorized shares, then you have shares that are issued, and shares outstanding means how many shares are still out there in the marketplace, because oftentimes companies repurchase shares or repurchase option rights. So you have to say, what is the outstanding number of shares rather than just the issued number of shares, because the number issued can will oftentimes be more than those outstanding just because of repurchases and buybacks or redemptions uh, by the corporation. When it comes time to seek equity investment in the business, oftentimes the company will have to amend its articles and restate them, that is refile them with the Secretary of State, to authorize additional shares. And oftentimes it'll be a, another class of shares. So if you start with your first class of shares, which is generally what we call common stock, you may be authorizing a second class or third class or fourth class of shares that known as preferred stock that have specific rights uh, that are different from that of the common stockholder. It may have preferred payment rights or dividend rights or might have uh, preferred voting rights or something of that nature. So investors oftentimes look for preferred shares and thus you have to amend and restate the articles of incorporation. This increases the total number of authorized shares because you have your original number of authorized shares and then you have a amended or restated amount. The same goes if you go through a stock split. If you go through a stock split, you are doubling the number of shares out there because the existing number of authorized shares is doubled. Whatever's in your reserve that is not issued, that number doubles. Whatever is already issued and outstanding, that number doubles because every individual share of stock splits. So if I owned one share of stock, now I own two. So that increases the number of authorized shares. But again, it goes back to amending those articles of incorporation as part of the process. And a concept related to the number of shares outstanding is dilution. So when you authorize additional shares and distribute those, if I have, say, 10 shares and that's all the shares outstanding, but the company authorizes another 10 shares and they issue those and now there's 20 shares outstanding. Well, I owned 100% of the shares initially, all 10 of them. Now I own 50%, I own 10 of the 20. So I have been diluted, right? I have, uh, I have less ownership interest than I had before. In order to thwart that, I would have had to buy the additional 10 shares that were authorized. So dilution is a relevant term uh, for authorized shares and, and how they uh, mesh together. So anyway, this is what authorized shares are, and these are some of the terms that are relevant to uh, understanding the concept of authorized shares.